The day Saturn V and the F1 engine retired was also the day the title King of Engines was vacated. Honestly, it is difficult to find any engine in the 20th century and the first decade of the 21st century that can be worthy of inheriting that title. But as SpaceX's Raptor family gets into the race, we seem to feel the glory coming back. From Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, improvements in thrust and design surprise the whole world. Their power has been proven in Starship tests. But perhaps that was just the first introduction before our true king appeared. That is Raptor 3 a new masterpiece of SpaceX. Although it has not yet officially been released, its powerful debut in testing is already enough to shake up the aerospace industry. So, how powerful is Raptor 3? How will it impact SpaceX and the aerospace industry? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. In May of this year, which means a month after the first integrated test flight, SpaceX conducted a test with the Raptor 3 engine. Right after the test, Elon Musk posted a tweet announcing the data they gained from the test and those results surprised the world. Specifically, Raptor 3 has generated a thrust of up to 269 tons and a combustion chamber pressure of 350 bar. If 33 Raptor 3 engines are used on the Super Heavy, it can generate up to 8,877 tons or 19.5 million pounds of thrust. This is an unprecedented crazy thrust, far exceeding the power of the legendary Saturn V rocket with a thrust of 3,447 tons. In fact, with the current Raptor 2 version, Starship is more powerful than Saturn V. With that greater thrust, Raptor 3 will continue to maintain their positions created by the previous version. Combustion chamber pressure is also another record set by Raptor 3. Before the Raptor engines appeared, the Russian RD-180 was the engine with the largest combustion chamber pressure at 267 bar. But in 2021, SpaceX broke that record with the first Raptor version with a combustion chamber pressure of 268.9 bar. After that, Raptor 2 continued to deepen this record with a combustion chamber pressure of 300 bar. With the aforementioned pressure up to 350 bar, Raptor 3 further demonstrates the dominance of the Raptor family in this aspect. Raptor 3's strong advances come from the smart strategy of Elon Musk and SpaceX. That's the simplification strategy. The best part is no part. That's one of the most famous statements of Elon Musk and is also the principle for all SpaceX activities, including engine development. Firstly, the simplification will help reduce excess weight. But more importantly, it will help eliminate vulnerable engine parts like electric wires, nozzles, sensors, and more thereby enhancing engine flexibility and reliability. Simplicity will also help the design, production, repair, and operation processes become easier, faster, and cut a lot of costs. This task sounds really easy, but in reality, it's very difficult. Removal of any part requires careful consideration because it may damage the entire system. In addition, the parts in the new version must still ensure the functions of the removed parts. But SpaceX has done this very well. We can realize this when looking at the two engine versions, Raptor 1 and Raptor 2. Compared to Raptor 1, Raptor 2 looks much neater and simpler. This is because SpaceX has removed and redesigned a lot of parts that are complicated and easy to encounter problems like the above parts. As a result, Raptor 2 has made a lot of progress compared to Raptor 1. Their weight's been reduced by 400 kilograms. Reliability is also increased. In particular, power indicators like thrust and combustion chamber pressure were also reinforced. Overall, Raptor 2 is about 25% more powerful than Raptor 1. Its power has been clearly proven in Starship's integrated test flights. Raptor 3 will continue to rely on that strategy. The redesign continues to be more simplified than its predecessors. The weight of the third version is expected to be only 1,400 kilograms. However, with 269 tons of thrust, it's 18% more powerful than Raptor 2 and 45% more powerful than Raptor 1. Moreover, recently, Elon Musk also revealed a new engine version. This version will not have a heat shield, but will have a higher thrust, impulse, and many other upgrades. It's unclear whether this version is related to Raptor 3 or not, but these are important upgrades that are also based on the simplification strategy that SpaceX is applying. Thanks to simplification, the production cost of SpaceX's engines has also been significantly reduced. According to Elon Musk, the production cost of Raptor 3 will be nearly half of Raptor 1. 
Raptor's production speed is also gradually increasing. Currently, with Raptor 2, SpaceX can produce one engine every 24 hours. But when Raptor 3 launches, that speed will be even faster. Producing powerful engines quickly will further strengthen Elon Musk's plans, including the plan of launching thousands of starships each year to Mars to build self-sufficient cities on the planet. Thanks to those advances, Raptor 3 has made many other impacts on the aerospace industry. Firstly, it completely defeats Blue Origin's BE-4 engine. Along with the Raptor engines, Blue Origin's engines are considered pioneers in using methane as rocket fuel. In particular, BE-4 is considered a trump card for Blue Origin to compete with SpaceX engines. One of Blue Origin's pride is that their BE-4 engine has a thrust of up to 250 tons or 550,000 pounds. This thrust is greater than the first two versions of Raptor. But everything will change when Raptor 3 launches. Raptor 3's thrust will blow away the small pride of Blue Origin's BE-4. Honestly, besides that, the BE-4 showed many weaknesses compared to the Raptor in every aspect, especially its delay. So if Raptor 3 becomes operational, SpaceX will create the final knockout to the Blue Origin engine. Raptor 3 will also continue the Raptor family's mission to regain the glory of U.S. engines. After the F-1 retired, Russian engines emerged strongly, typically the RD-180. This engine has penetrated and made a great impact on the U.S. aerospace industry. It even became the main engine for one of the most famous rockets, ULA's Atlas V. Even a famous engine like the RS-25 used in the Space Shuttle or SLS today also shows weakness when compared with the RD-180. But thanks to the appearance of the Raptor engines, it has actually created a counterweight to the Russian engines. In 2021, Raptor 1 produced its first victory when it officially surpassed the RD-180 in combustion chamber pressure. With the opening of the methane engine trend, the playground for the RD-180 has gradually been limited. One of the RD-180 customers, ULA, decided to use the BE-4 for their new rocket. Furthermore, Atlas V is also carrying out its final missions and will soon be retired. Therefore, the appearance of the Raptor 3 last May was like a final blow to send the RD-180 back to its homeland and officially end the decades-long influence of the Russians on the U.S. aerospace industry. Raptor 3's role will be even more important in the future because another U.S. rival, China, is strongly following the trend of using methane and has achieved many first successes. Rather than any other engine, Raptor 3 will play an important role for both SpaceX and the U.S. in competing with this rival. Last but not least, we must once again mention SpaceX's simplification strategy. Future engines will become simpler, more powerful, more cost-effective, and faster in production. That will be the trend that aerospace companies and organizations will aim for in the future as the limits of space exploration are increasingly expanding. With the advantages presented above, Raptor 3 is truly worth becoming the leader of this trend and the typical representative of the new generation of engines. It's probably been a long time since we've seen an engine that can have such a huge impact. In the last century, with its formidable thrust, the F-1 engine helped Americans gain many glories like winning the space race and helping humans land on the moon for the first time. It is too worthy to be called king of engines. And now? It seems we are gradually finding a new engine that can inherit the will, legacy, and missions left by the F-1. That is Raptor 3. Perhaps we will all be eagerly awaiting the debut of this engine that can shake up the aerospace industry. But even before its official launch, the Raptor 3 was able to make a huge impact on the entire industry, which is something not every engine can do. We don't know whether SpaceX will create any more monsters in the future or not, but right now, we can confirm that Raptor 3 truly deserves to become the king of engines in the aerospace industry this century. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.